Hi guys and welcome to my review of Haikyuu chapter 264, Broken Heart. When I first saw the title, I was like, no, 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 please, no, God, no. Uh, but it turned out to be okay. It was the Tanaka moment we'd all been waiting for with the, oh my God, the cross he did, the Bokuto cross, I'm gonna call it. God damn, it was so cool. I really loved it. Um, what to say about this chapter though? Oh, it was just so good. Um, I liked how we got back. We got to see more of Tanaka um, again. Um, I really loved the little thing, the flashback. We got the flashback within the flashback of the first time he met uh, Shimizu. Because uh, he was just like, yeah, I'll play cool. And then she walks in and he's just like, marry me. And honestly, I was too. Because <laughs> um, honestly, she's just the most beautiful woman. What the heck? What even happened there? Um, but I really like that. Um, I just love seeing his personality shine through. I think that was most of this chapter, just him in a nutshell. Um, but it was really nice. I really like his interaction with uh, Tsukishima as well. How he was like, why did you toss to Asahi instead of me? And he was just like, yeah, well, I just thought he had a better chance, really. Um, and then the little question of which one did you like better? Like the pushy me or what did he say? The... I didn't even remember what he said, like the quiet me or something, and he was like, yeah, instantly it's the pushing me. Because he's the guy who always, like, he keeps pushing, um, and when you're down, there's nowhere to go but up. Um, so it was just, it was a nice chapter. Um, there's not really much to say about it, because we've all been waiting for this moment. Um, it was really nice for Tanaka to take the set, though. Um, I do believe they'll lose the next one, because I think they'll play full sets, um, or full match, whatever it's called. Um, but I also think the next set will go by pretty quickly. So kind of like with uh, Shiratori's out where like, I think it was the fourth set or something that just went by in a flash. Um, I think it's the same that will happen here probably. Depending on what super cool moves we'll see Inarosaki pulling out. Um, but I do think we'll see Inarosaki take the second set and then Karasuno have to struggle with the third one. Um, but we'll see. I still say I I think we're gonna see more Tanaka. It was really great to see the people in the stands uh, cheering for him as well. Just Buddha, yeah! Um, and you have Bokuto being really proud as well because that was his move. Um, so yeah, I thought it was a really great chapter. I don't. I really don't know what to say because it was just really great and this just showcased Kanasa, Kanasa, Tanaka's uh, character so well and what we always know, but just like in the best way possible. So. Yeah, that was just, it was just really, really great. I am looking forward to uh, to more, and I'm looking forward, I do believe, like, wholeheartedly now. Um, and I think I've said this before, probably every single review I've done the last couple of weeks, uh, that Karasuna will win. Um, hasn't changed, I believe. Never, I don't believe I ever said that Inorosaki would win, um, or at least that would be my belief. Um, but it's gonna be, it's gonna be nice to see them pull through this, and for Tanaga to establish his... Uh, role as the future race. I think that was really cool. Um, so yeah, I'm actually gonna stop talking now because I don't have much more to say. It was just really cool. The ending, I don't know what to do about that with uh, her being like, oh, I might go uh, break my own heart. Um, but it was still like really nice. Oh, I really like though um, the little thing she said about how she'd, al she'd always been very um, conscious about her size because she's like, not a big girl, but she's a tall girl, um, so like a giant girl, um, and she'd always been like, she didn't like that very much, uh, but Tanaka made her change her mind because he was genuinely jealous of her, and she, he thought that um, her form or her body, whatever, was truly beautiful and something to be praised, and that was just super amazing, so I'm really happy that like Tanaka's uh, eager and honest personality just made someone feel more happy about their body and just stuff they couldn't change anyway. So that was really, really nice um, to see that he'd made that impact on someone without even knowing. Because he, he definitely doesn't know uh, to, to the full extent the positive impact he has on people. Um, but it's going to be really great. It's going to be a whole other dynamic with him as the ace rather than Asahi. And I do love Asahi a lot. Um, but it's going to be a whole new dynamic. And it's going to be really great to see when we get to that point. Um, of course, we're going to get through the sad part of saying goodbye to the third years before we get to that, but um, it's going to be really cool. Um, so yeah, now I'm going to stop talking. That will be like a five-minute review of me basically just saying Tanaka's really great. <laughs> so um, 
I guess you can leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed these five minutes of Haikyuu. Leave in the comments below what you thought of the chapter and you can subscribe if you want to see more. Until next time, bye.